thanks so much for joining me. I was asked to give a quick tutorial on how to download mods and how to access them. So we're going to do that real quick. Now, as of January uh, 17th, there, uh, 2024, there is a current, currently a bug, at least for me, but I know that there's for other people, that if you start up a fresh game and you go right into sandbox mode, the mods won't appear. So what you have to do is you have to go into the story mode first. So let's do that real quick. And if you happen to get this bug, the only way that I know to fix it is completely to shut the game down and go back in, just so you know. And uh, you, what you want to do is once you're in story mode, go to houses, tab populate this screen. And then once you do this, then it's safe to back out and go back to main menu. And now you can go to sandbox mode. Now for me, the screen takes some substantial time to upload. I don't know why, but it does. All right, now uh, you wanna go to mods. Okay, so you are actually seeing mods that I already downloaded, but what you do is you go to mod.io on a web browser. You can click this link and it'll take you to it. So if you go through here, you can sign in. Uh, you you do need to have an account because you have to link both of them together. So you do have to do that. Uh, and it looks like there's actually uh, some new mods since the last time I checked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit subscribe. And it since the counts are linked together, it should automatically import them for me. Ooh, I like this one. Lost Hotel. Uh, let's do this cottage. Um, I think I did that one already. Rustic Hideaway, Abandoned House, sure. Uh, apartment 16, Industrial Forest Haven, uh, House with a Dark Secret. That sounds promising. Um, you can also filter it out, which I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to say recently added, because I do look at this roughly nearly every day. So, um, we've got the Croft Manor. You can also separate them by custom jobs, uh, which is fine to uh, make the home younger. I'm not a piece in the forest. This one looks like it might be already decorated, so I'm going to avoid that one. Um, I do plan on doing a quick series where we go through and we look at decorated homes because there's some really fun ones. There's like a hobbit. Uh, there's a uh, competition going on right now. Caruso's Abandoned Island uh, or Hideaway, I think, maybe what it is. Uh, so I do plan on doing that. Now, if you don't want to use the Steam browser, you can use any browser of your choice. And you can also manually download the files on the mod IO of, of the player house that you like and install it in a folder uh, to get to the folder. It's, you can see the folder link in the game as well. Uh, that works. I just find it more convenient and easier to do it through here. The spaceship on our remote. Okay. <laughs> Fixer upper. Man, last I, since I looked, there was quite a few that was added. I'm impressed. Uh, all right, now we are at, uh, now I think we're back to where I last looked. All right, uh, so then once you subscribed, you back out of here, and you're going to notice the symbol happening where it's syncing it up. It may take a while. Oh, well, they say that, and now it happens really quickly, so never mind. Uh, yeah, so then here they are, and then you can just click them and continue on. And if you look to the top right, you're going to see a button that says import right next to the logout in between the mod IO. That is where you go to import a file if you download it from the web browser of your choice instead of syncing the two accounts. Um, really big homes tend to break. Uh, garbage, when the map is loading, garbage sinks. So if there is any space between the house and the ground, um, it can get stuck in there and that really sucks. Uh, dirt can also absorb through the walls so they become unreachable and you can't get to them. 
Uh, the other thing is just randomly things will stop working. You can no longer place furniture. Everything will go with a red outline and you can't place. And so then you have to log out and go back in. These are all problems that I'm pretty sure that Frozen District knows and that they're working to squash. But for some people, it is making it slightly unplayable. Like for me, I actually can't play um, some of the really big maps that I was working on, which breaks my heart. So I'm hoping that I can come back. Um, I, if I, if it doesn't get fixed in the way that I'm hoping it does, I do have another plan in, in backup, which is you can enter a, a place and say alter the floor plan. And if you do that, then maybe I can save it to my common documents and work on it that way. I'm hoping. Uh, but I'm, I'm holding off because the, the biggest one, the, the manor in the forest, um, I'm, I made quite a big dent on it. Oh, the other problem too is you can't interact with player placed stairs. So if the mod maker placed stairs and uh, especially stairs, you can't sell the stairs and nor can you change their appearance to look from destroyed, which is one of the reasons why I walk from Manor of the Forest is because it has those two grand staircases that we love, but they're damaged and I can't fix them. So uh, that's why it's on hold right now. But anyway, that is how you get to player made it at homes. Uh, the smaller ones work great. Bigger ones, you may run into some problems. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Just know right now, as of early January, there is still quite a few bugs with the game. And you're going to struggle with some of the, the modded homes. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will be back real soon. Up next is we are going to be doing some modded homes because we just finished the sunny bungalow and I like to flip in uh, between uh, vanilla homes and modded homes every other episode. So, all right, be back.